Welcome back to Mastermind. It's round three competition today. Shailen down the lead 250 to 190 over McAllen. It's time for the final stretch. We are going to ask questions until we hear that final bell. Whoever's leading at that point moves on to the next round. So here we go. We're all playing. Need your buzzers. Which precious mineral product accounts for about four fifths of Botswana's exports? That's McAllen Garrett. Diamond. Yes. Controversy surrounded the publication of Wenho Lee's autobiography, My Country Versus Me. Accused of espionage, this Chinese-American scientist worked at which New Mexico laboratory? Sherilyn Brandon. Um, uh, McCallum? Uh, Garrett? Uh, University of New Mexico? No, Los Alamos. No doubt the most valuable object ever stolen had vanished from the Louvre in 1911, but was recovered. Name it. McAllen Taylor. Mona Lisa. That's right. The site of a major Canadian Air Force training base, this Saskatchewan city sounds like the mandible of a large deer. Name it. That's McAllen Garrett. Ontario. No. <laughs> Sherilyn Brandon. Manitoba. No, this would be Moose Jaw, the mandible of a large deer. Buttes are tall, steep sided towers of rock that are all the remains of former extensive flat regions of raised rock, known as what? McAllen Garrett. Cliffs. No. Sherilyn, do you want? Brandon? Um, mountains? No, mesas. Mesas. Army, carpenter, leaf cutter, honey, and harvester. Sherilyn Brandon. Ant. That's right. How do you spell unnecessary? Sherilyn Brandon. U N N L E S S E C A R Y. No. McAllen Taylor. U N N E C E S S A R Y. That is correct. The leopard and tiger types of this flower have coloration similar to wildcats. What are they? Sherilyn Brandon. The lilies? Yes. How is the word inspired used in this quote by Cicero? All great men are in some degree inspired. That's uh, McAllen Taylor. It is a noun. No. Sherilyn. Connotation. Uh, Joshua Tulane. Yeah. yeah. Adjective? No. It's a predicate adjective. Oh. Predicate adjective. The Federal Aviation Administration, which monitors air traffic, is part of what cabinet department? McAllen Garrett. Transportation. That's correct. Name the cabinet position headed by a woman for the first time under Clinton, and then McAllen Taylor. Education? No. And then for the first time by an African American under Bush. And time is up. Secretary of State. That's where you're headed, right? The translation of its name is Good Winds. Name this South American capital. That's Sherilyn Fernando. Buenos Aires. That's correct. Four questions about Texas. You get all these right. Which popular vacation spot extends about 30 miles along Texas, Texas coast? McAllen Garrett. South Padre Island. That's correct. Which three Texas cities have teams in the NBA? Sherilyn Brandon. San Antonio, Dallas, and Houston. That's correct. The flags of three foreign nations have flown over Texas soil. McAllen Taylor. France, Spain, Mexico. That's correct. Two famous Spanish explorers visited Texas. McAllen Taylor. Hernán Cortés and Cabeza de Vaca. No. Uh, Sherilyn Brandon. Um, Diego Cortez and Fernando de la Vaca. No, no. Fernando de Soto and Francisco de Coronado. Three out of four, though. How do you spell inflammatory? Sherilyn Brandon. I M F L A M M O R A T Y. No. McAllen Taylor. I N F L A M M A T O R Y. That is correct. According to a notable public service announcement, friends don't let friends do what? Sherilyn Brandon. Do drugs? No. McAllen? Garrett? Bully? No, drive drunk. The discovery of how to unravel the silk from the cocoon of a silkworm moth and weave that material into cloth was made in what country? That's uh, Sherilyn Brandon. China. Yes. This location is where the gift comes from in the title of a book by Anne Morrow Lindbergh. It's the adjective modifying wolf in Jack London novel. Against what place does Santiago struggle in an Ernest Hemingway book? McAllen Garrett. The sea? Yes. Banks get money from two treasury bureaus, engraving and printing for bills, and which one for coins? That's McAllen Taylor. Um, the Federal Reserve. No. Sherilyn Brandon. Mint? Yes, the mint. There are now three locations in our solar system where volcanic activity is known to occur. Earth, of course, is one. Another is Jupiter's moon, Io. Name the other location. Um, that's Sherilyn Brandon. Mars? No, it's a moon of Neptune. McAllen? Okay, Garrett. Europa? No, it's Triton. The Hudson River is between New York and this state. And the Sherilyn Fernando. New Jersey. Yes. This alliterative term is defined as a descending motion subject only to gravity. What is it? That's McAllen Garrett. Falling? No. 
Sherilyn, I'm not sure who rang it. Okay, uh, free fall. Another. Yes, free fall is correct. What non-slipping knot takes its name from the rope attached to the front part of a boat? And Callum Taylor. Sailor's knot. No. Sherilyn Brandon. Square. No, it's a bowline. Five states are bisect. Five states are bisected by the line between the eastern and central time zone. Name any one of them. Sherilyn Brandon. Illinois. No. McAllen Taylor. New Mexico. No. Michigan, Indiana, Kentucky, Tennessee, and Florida. The National Road was completed in 1838 after 27 years of construction. It connected Maryland to Illinois and served as the first federal interstate. More specifically, the National Road connected Baltimore with which river? Sherilyn Brandon. Mississippi. Yes, that's correct. Two questions about ends in X. The answer ends in X. This four-letter verb means to persuade by means of gentle urging or flattery. Sherilyn Brandon. Coal? Um, no. McAllen? Time is up. Coax. Another ends in X. This four-letter noun means something accepted or established by fraud or fabrication. Sherilyn Brandon. Hoax? Yes. Okay, math question. Give me the least common multiple of seven and four. Sherilyn Joshua. 28. Yes. The UN Delegates Dining Room offers views of which river? Sherilyn Brandon. Hudson? No. McAllen? Anyone? Time is up. Okay, go ahead, Taylor. New York? No, the East River. The title of the story, She Said Yes, The Unlikely Martyrdom of Cassie Bernal, is taken from the last words of a student who died at which high school in 1999? McAllen Garrett. Columbine? Yes. In 1942, General MacArthur arrived in Australia after secretly leaving what peninsula? Sherilyn Brandon. Um, Korean. No. McAllen Taylor. Iberian. No, Bataan. In the 1860s, the U.S. government issued paper money to pay for war debts. McAllen Garrett. Greenbacks? Yes. What word can refer to a large feather or one of the spines of a porcupine? Sherilyn Brandon. Quill? Yes. What European country began colonizing Cuba in the early 1500s? Sherilyn Brandon. Spain? Yes. This future year will be the next year that's a perfect numerical square and the first one since 1936, which was the square of 44. What is this upcoming year, which is the square? Sherilyn Joshua. 2025. That's correct. Owing to a warning he received in Genesis 19, Lot managed to escape the city, but his wife didn't survive the journey. From which city did Lot depart, as it was McAllen Taylor? Sodom and Gomorrah. Um, Judges. No, no. Uh, depart as it was destroyed. Sherilyn, anybody? All right, Brandon. Babylon? No, it was just Sodom by itself. Most people who keep rocket fuel in their home don't realize that they're doing so. What strong oxidizing agent used to fuel rockets is kept in many medicine cabinets as a disinfectant? That's Sherilyn Fernando. Um, liquid oxygen? No, or as a hair bleach. Okay. Garrett? Hydrogen peroxide. That's correct. What board within a microcomputer typically contains RAM, ROM, CPU? McAllen Garrett. Motherboard? Yes. At what site did struggles over the peach orchard, the wheat field, the devil's den, and little and big round top last for three days? Sherilyn Brandon. Antietam? No. Callan? Time is up. That was Gettysburg. They mate for life and are less fully aquatic than their smaller, react than their smaller relations, ducks and swans. What are these large-bodied waterfowl? McAllen Taylor. Crane? No. Sherilyn, who rang in? I'm not sure. Brandon? Um, geese? Yes. In what environment do cephalopods and gra gastropods live? McAllen Garrett. The ocean? Yes. Identify the group of Marcus Aurelius. Identify the group Marcus Aurelius persecuted for refusing to renounce their faith. McAllen Taylor. Christians. That's right. Math question. Solve each of the following equations for x. x times 3 minus y equals y times 2 minus x. x times 3 minus y equal y times 2 minus x. That's Sherilyn Joshua. X equals two-thirds Y. Uh, two Y over three. Two Y over three. Yeah, that's it. It's just said in a different way. Here's another one. Let's try this one. X, I'm sorry, eight times X minus two equal four times X plus two. Sherilyn Joshua. X equals six. Correct. Polarized glasses are useful in reducing an intense diffuse light called what? That's McAllen Garrett. Ultraviolet? No. Sherilyn Brandon. Um, ultra, um, no, just, just glare. Glare, glare. Okay. The prosperity of the Netherlands is due in part to its location at the mouth of what major river? That's Sherilyn Brandon. Um, Rhine? Yes, that's correct. Listen to the clues and just guess the correct titles of these Christmas carols. 
Listen, the celestial messengers produce harmonious sounds. That's Sherilyn Brandon. Sun and Nights? No. McGowan, anyone? And time is up. Hark the Herald Angels Sing. Here's another. Small municipality in Judea, southeast of Jerusalem. Time is up. That was going to be a little town of Bethlehem. That was a great game. And our final score is Sherilyn 430, McAllen 330. That's 760 points combined between the two schools. Congratulations to all of the students today for a great game. And, of course, congratulations to Sherilyn. You're moving on to the next round. I want to, again, thank all the students for a great job. Thank our judges here, Dr. Burke and Dr. Rivera. We're all exhausted. I don't know about y'all. <laughs> Sherilyn, we'll see you in the next round. We'll see you at home next week for another exciting competition of masterminds.